Yo, what's up, guys? You on me, True Boy for Life? I just wanted to send a big shout out to Pets of America. Thank you. Um, that's what we're going to be unboxing today. I'll just let you know what it is here in a few seconds, or you'll see it if you see the caption of the video. You'll understand what this is. Now, this is just the unboxing. I'm not going to be using it um, right now, but the unboxing will show you that this is some top of the line and some high quality products that will help you as a tree guy or a tree man, tree woman, whatever you're going to call yourself, arborist, and it'll help you to be really, really, really successful. I've been a supporter of Petzl for as long as I can remember. I remember um, being, when I first started, um, I was buying from Sherelle or Sherelle, however y'all want to pronounce Sherelle Tree, Sherelle Tree. Um, and then um, I think I started off with the Petzl MD and the William Carabiners, um, just really good products. Um, I used to really love those. Um, that's, so that's really one of the first buys that I bought as a tree guy. Um, and here it is. Um, I think I started my business in 2008, 2009. And here it is, 221. And I'm telling you guys, I've supported a lot of different steel, Husqvarna, um, uh, Rock Exotica or, or who, who knows who. I mean, it's just so many different quality products that I've used over the time. But nobody has came to me and offered me, say, hey, Fernando, um, would you be interested in demoing this for us? Now, with, in all fairness, um, I have to say, too, um, there's been local people that have supported me when it comes to that. Like I have here, I use um, LTD Farming Garden in King, North Carolina. Um, Clay and his people, some of the best people. I got people over for Scythe Moore, over here off of um, Griffin, um, here in Winston-Salem. I have a few other people that have supported me locally that get behind you. But that's the thing. When you got people locally that support you, that's one thing. But to have a big corporation um, that's been spearheading, especially rock climbing and so many other avenues of, of of climbing and just so getting abreast of, of what helps climbers be better and be successful and stuff like I said, I've used, but for them to pull or just to say, hey, you want to demo this? To me, I feel really good about that and I real feel really good about Petzl. It helps me to appreciate and shows me that they're in touch with people. So they're more of like your local people. So I say that in all fairness to everybody. I mean, Steel is a big conglomerate and us Barna, you got all these big corporations, big this or that, but you rarely have them just deal with little common folk, random people like myself, because I'm just a, a a tree guy, just like all of you guys. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm at my phase, I'm at my level, y'all on y'all levels, but the main thing, I'm out here trying to um, provide for my family, I'm out here trying to take care of my situation, everything I got going on in my life, and I use gear like this that helped me to be able to take care of these things. Um, and you know, I'm not rich. I'm not the most famous guy on YouTube. I'm, it's just, I'm just a normal guy. But for them to take the time to say, hey, we want you to sample this product for us, give us some feedback and let us know. I just have to shout them out, give them a shout out and let them know and let y'all know that these are the type of people that you need to deal with. Um, support Petzl. I mean, I know there's a lot of products and, 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 and you've seen like here lately, what I specialize in, what I use primarily for my Petzl, I use the pet, Petzl grilling device. Um, I have that device in my tree pulling kit and I also have that device in my second lanyard. Uh, I use it as a, as a tie-in line or just as an advanced line, like a secondary lifeline because I have a really long lanyard, about 25 foot. And I use it so I don't have to use the friction hitch. I know a lot of guys owe me about why haven't I advanced to a mechanical hitch? Um, sure. Here's Sugar, guys. She wanted to make a little cameo. She's a little um, a little mixed breed. She's semi-hypoallergenic because she has um, um, bites and free. So I, can't, I think if I'm pronouncing that right in it. But a really cool little dog, but more of a Jack Terrier or Jack Russell. But she's something else, guys. But um, anyways... I just wanted to say that again. You got guys um, that are getting like me that have been using products, but nobody's never approached us, especially since I am a, um, 
on YouTube and I do have somewhat of a, a online presence. So you do understand, or, or at least you, you can definitely see that I'm just, you could say I'm, I'm still, to me, I'm still just a random nobody, but I might not be as normal as maybe the most normal person, but still that's what that, this is like. And that's why I wanted to again, shout out Petzl. Really appreciate you so much for just allowing me and considering me to even be able to, to sample the, the equipment and to be able to demo it. So with no further ado, I would like to open this box and show you just what's inside. Um, and again, just got to support Petzl from here on out. Now, I've been supporting them all my life as far as life as a tree guy, but definitely even more now. And that's why I want this review to be spot on. And I want this unboxing to be really big because, guys, again, you don't have a whole lot of people Again, dealing with common folk people like me. Um, and so I know if they'll deal with me, they'll deal with you. And maybe even if it's not a demo here, but maybe you can talk to somebody, um, email somebody or something, and I know they'll make something happen. It just seems like they really will, as opposed to the normal people that we used to dealing with. Because Steele has never contacted me. Hus Barner hasn't. Although I, I, Lolly just went crazy, just, just giving so much free advertisement to all that stuff. And, you know, I'm not mad, but then again, it just shows you, you know, you gotta mess with who, who mess with you. That's why now I use mostly us modern anyways. I got some still. But to start off with, this is the um, Petzl Vortex. Um, this is a really, really good climbing helmet, guys. Now, even before, now I'll pull up on it a little bit so you can see the that right there. I mean, you can put the earmuffs on, you can put the um, sound system even in these. There's so many different adjustments. That's what I like in helmets anyway. Um, and you can put lights on, face mask. I mean, so many things you can do here. But again, this is the Vortex. I like orange because I like high vis when I'm working. Um, you know, I like the you know yellow or just something. I just want to be seen. And most times that's, you know, I don't have, like I said, I, sometimes I have my lettered or my, um, what do you want to say, my... Um, can't even get a word. I have my shirts with my business name on it and things like that. Um, but at any rate, I prefer just high vis because when you're out there, I want to make sure that my guys, I can see them when I'm throwing limbs down or we dropping trees or vice versa. They can see me when they're doing something. If we got equipment going on or even if I'm just walking in the road blowing or something, I got to make sure the person can see me. But like I said, I really like the orange, but they provide me with the orange. And we'll again, we're not going to unbox here. I'm just going to show you, but we'll do a different video with the actual unboxing. I meant to say that. I just want to show you everything and just give you a, a, um, a rundown of what I have. And because, like I said, really what I wanted to do with this video, I wanted to spotlight Petzl for dealing with common people and dealing with normal people. And that's why I think they have been successful because they've made products on every level of climbing. And now you've got the tree climbing, I mean, which is very... You know, I don't, I don't know if I had to say rock climbing versus tree climbing, which one. I would say there's probably more people rock climbing, but there's still a lot of people that climb trees um, because a lot of people that do outdoorsy, you know. So the, uh, so the tree climbing part would, would probably come in a little, a little later after that. But still, long story short, I just wanted to spotlight Petzl. Um, now, this, they even got, gave me a card. Look at that. See, that's pretty cool. It says, Tree Boy, thank you for reviewing the eject. And I hope you enjoyed the duffel and the helmet too. Thanks, Sam. So shout out to you, Sam, and also Donnell um, Klein for who packed this up for me. Shout out to you guys and shout out to Petzl America, guys. But this is going to be the, I guess it's already halfway out of the box. But guys, this is the Petzl eject. Now, this is what they wanted me to demo. But this is the new and latest thing and installing redirects and also this installing a false crotch in a tree. So guys, I'm going to demo this and I'm going to let you know how it works out. So again, I'm just going to take it out of the box and sit it here on the table, but I'll show you the box and that's how it comes. Um, let me see here. Get this thing closed up. If I can even close it up. There we go. And that way you can see, but that's how it come in that box like that. So the pencil and the object, it has a little bit of a um, description back there. You can kind of see how they got it all set up and how they show you everything here. 
But like I said, I'll get more into that in a later video. And also, guys, man, they just, <laughs> they showed out. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. That's what I'm talking about. I was just thinking about, I was actually going to buy a pencil shirt to actually do this. Um, but now I don't have to buy one. I got one. I can just rock this one. That's pretty cool. This is actually a hoodie, not a shirt. But I was going to buy a shirt. But look at that. Got the guy in the tree. Man, this is hot right here. He's climbing up. I don't know how good you can see that, but that's the situation there. I know the light's not the best in here. And I apologize for that. But like I said, I just wanted to spotlight Pestle. So thanks, Pestle. I really appreciate that. Man, there's so much stuff in here. You know I'll be rocking that. That's what I'm talking about. I love SRS. I love MRS. So we got the different stickers for the different types of climbing that we do as tree climbers or how they, this is the new labeling on single rope and double rope or basically it's all one rope, but that's pretty much the gist of it. SRS versus MRS. Um, so a single rope system versus a multi-rope system. Um, that's pretty cool. So I got a lot of those stickers. I'm going to spread the love around too. I got some guys I can give a few stickers, put them on their helmets. So we got some of those and definitely, you know, and that's another thing too, like the Shirelle tree and I think it's um, Westbur and I think Bailey sometimes, but mostly Westbur and Shirelle, they would normally have stickers sometimes. And I think more predominantly Westbur does, but you would get a lot of like all kind of like maybe Rock Exotica, Petzl or, or this or that type stickers you could put on your helmet. But I really like those, and I really love these guys because, again, it just goes to show, you know, just supporting the people that support you. So it's just free advertising for them, but still at the same time, helps people to see what you're rocking because sometimes people want to know what, what, what are you climbing with, what type of gear are you using, or, or why do you do this, or why do you do that? And you can say, well, hey, I do it, and I rock this just because. And um, so, like I said, I rock with Petzl, and this is the like the see-through um, type um, stickers there. And that's pretty cool. Now this right here, now this is absolutely blew my mind. Cause he said, you, you know what, like Sam said, enjoy the duffel and the helmet too. So those are throw-ins. He basically gave those to me guys. Which like I said, thank you, I appreciate that. But this right here, this is even, this is just amazing. Look at this guys. This is a duffel guys. You got your rope bag. You can put all kinds of stuff. You know, like, I'm kind of bootleg, guys. Now, you you know, Fernando G, Tree Boy for Life, I'm kind of bootleg. Because, like I said, I'm not no rich guy by no means. And I, I'm kind of unorthodox compared to a lot of guys. Uh, especially when I climb, I'm kind of like the, the black sheep, so to speak. So, I always got guys correcting me, trying to do this, do that. You should be, you know, whatever. But long story short, my rope bags are always kind of, are always kind of just bootleg. And basically what I do, I go to Walmart, or not Walmart, I go to um, Goodwill, like to a thrift store and just buy a duffel bag. <laughs> That's really what I do. No label, no nothing. Because I said, why am I going to pay, you know, because I'm kind of cheap too. Why am I going to pay so much money for something I'm barely going to use? And then I'm going to trash it because, you know, you're throwing the rope bag around and doing things like that. But this is so cool. And I appreciate that, Sam. Thank you, boss. Um, this is just amazing. It's called the Duffel 85. It's a large capacity transport bag. It's 70 by 40 by 32. It's got, it looks like it's doable than a, I mean, this feels, it's almost like a, man, it's like a raincoat type consistency because I'm, I'm just touching through the bag, but it still just feels heavy duty. I mean, it's like, it's almost like a, like a Kevlar um, type feel to it. I guess, I guess Kevlar, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's really cool right there. I mean, this thing is heavy duty, so it's well, obviously weatherproof, which is insane. I mean, it's zipped, it's covered all the way at the top. But guys, this is just way to appetite. I'm gonna get back with you. I'm sorry, my voice kind of going. I'm just getting over pneumonia. I've had pneumonia since late April. Here it is. Today is the 19th of May, and I'm still trying to come out of it. So I, my breath just kind of come and goes. But long story short, this is the review for Petzl, um, or just the unboxing. And uh, are just to just showing the guys unboxing what they sent me. Then we're gonna get deeper into it as time goes on. And then 
definitely we're going to get you the review on the pet suite jet so guys thanks for watching as always thanks for supporting my channel you see i got it pulled up right here um i got tons of videos and i'm actually up to about i think now it's 14.6k subscribers so guys you talking about a guy who just again came from nothing came from nowhere to have 14,000 subscribers basically rounded off to 15,000 for nobody like me again i really appreciate the support i really appreciate you guys watching i hope you enjoyed this on the um the series on the petzl and i'll also show you what petzl i again have in my climbing system and you'll see that as i climb with this and you'll see how i use all that and really why petzl has been really a major part and especially with it being basically my second lifeline, it's been such a, 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 a fundamental and a, um, integral part to my climbing system and then to my climbing, um, my rigging system as well. Because when I use that tree puller kit, now again, I, like I said, I'm kind of orthodox. I made it, I spliced it up like that. I just used some GE carabiners, but again, long story short, it's just been an integral part of both my climbing and my rigging. Even though it hasn't been the, um, maybe the mo most time you see me with the Rock Exotica, you've seen the Weaver Belt, you've seen other stuff that you use, like the Hitch Climber Pulleys and stuff like that. You see that stuff because you see it all the time. But that, if you ever look back, especially now, those who watch my channel, from when the time I got the Petzl, when I reviewed a lot of this stuff, this was years back. Now, I think I want to say probably going on close to six or seven years now. So you'll look back and you'll see how that Petzl has been a major part of what I've been doing, especially with the way I like to climb, because I do prefer what would have been called a double rope technique, um, which is basically two ropes, you know, tied into a mechanical friction device or a friction hitch or whatever you want to call it versus the single rope system. But I also have done a single rope system, especially when you go over houses, uh, when you're working on a roof, um, like a tree is on the roof. A lot of guys don't realize this. You just basically throw the rope over the house, anchor it to something, a tree, a car, and you just make sure at the top where the V is at, you make sure you got something there. Make sure the rope is not, you know, going to fray because your weight's going to be all on it. And then you just shimmy up and down the rope. And you kind of make sure, to, again, your tie-off is somewhat in the middle of the, the house, not like on the corner or this or that. That way you'll have room to sway and do what you need to do based on where that tree is at. And that's been the most beneficial way for me to work on a, on a tree over a house, especially when there's no access to a crane or no access to a, um, any kind of system or a mechanical um, truck or anything like that to just get that off the house like that. So again, guys, that that's going back to the pencil again. I use the grillion device instead of like using the friction hit sometimes. So I use that because it's easier for me just to let out and go, you know, with that system and the grillion device, which you can use it like that. Which is again, it's been an integral part. But like I said, thanks, um, Pencil America. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Darnell. Um, we really appreciate. Um, you know, just y'all considering people like us. And I say like us because I'm talking about you guys behind the camera watching this. Because if they deal with me, they'll deal with you. So peace out. You on Tree Boy for Life. What you doing, girl? You want to make your cameo? Huh? <laughs> I don't like that. I normally lick my nose, not my mouth. <laughs> not to my mouth. Wait, come on now, you biting on me, girl. What's going on now? What's going on now? What's going on, baby? What you doing? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Hey, baby boy. We got to get up in the tree now. I'm pumped. We got to get up in the tree, baby. Yeah. Peace. I just wanted to say this too, guys, um, just for the sake of it. Now, you got to understand I'm old school. So, SRS, stationary rope system, and then MRS is moving rope system. To me, it's still DD, DDT, DRT, whatever you want to call it, which is double rope system or multi-rope system. That's how my mind processes it versus uh, SRT, which single rope technique, or now stationary rope system, or whatever you want to call it. That's, it's just to me, it's either single or double rope, or more than one, multiple. That's just how my brain thinks. So guys, you gotta understand, that's all that was. Um, and that's just how it goes there, but that's what they actually mean. So again, moving rope system, and then 
stationary rope system. Peace. You don't want me to up for life. Yo, what's up, guys? You don't want me to up for life. Now, here is the unboxing of the Petzl Eject. An adjustable friction saver for tree care with pulley that is easily retrievable from the ground. That's the beautiful thing, hence eject about this bad boy. We get a closer look at the box. Manufactured 221, so my goodness, it's pretty um, recent. And then too, with this device now, it's in May. It's like no, toward the end of May, um, coming up in June. Um, so you got this has been out at least six months. So um, I want to say six to seven months, probably as far as distributing out and being able to be either demoed or used. And possibly even before then, they probably had to let somebody demo or, or do whatever they did to get it, you know, into manufacturing and, and get it into production. That way we can have the product for ourselves as tree guys and tree men and arborists alike. Tree surgeons, whatever you want to call yourself. So here's what this is. When you open that box, you look at it. That's the eject right there. This is the main part um, of the system. And I'll get all that cleared away. So it comes with the instructions here. You'll see you can go over all that information. Eventually we'll clip that off when we go to use it. And it comes with the retrieval tool, which I'll show you how that works. And then it comes with this also, this little pulley, which actually is an adjustment pulley. Um, that This basically is what will adjust to the... Um, um, to the tree like to the crotch wherever you decide to go um, and you can do a, a number of um, ways on this which is really cool I mean you could even double crotch this um, system you know if you had two crotches so one crotch here and then you could even do a, a double one on this side so there's there's ways around it but just long story short you can see here how the eject part you just slide it up um, that's how you get your rope in there you got your little pulley right there so that's how you slide your rope through. And you always slide it through. It always has the pitch, you see, left to, from the left way. Or in from the right to the left um, of the device. You wouldn't want to do it backwards. And that's the um, 25 or 2.5 KN, 2.5 KN, and then 25 KN. And then WLL 5 KN. So you see it. And this is, um, you know, when I first looked at it, because of course, you know, I had already seen it. It was, it came, to, it actually came out of the box, in the box that I received it in. So that's why y'all were able to see it then too. But it's actually really robust. I mean, because I, I, I'm an old school guy and I, um, I really prefer um, natural crotch. I have a Cambian Saver, which is a ring to ring. And I'll show you what I do when I, when I do the next video, uh, how I um, go about that process. But still just showing you this is just it's just amazing um, part I mean I was looking at how it works and looking at everything and just seeing like okay you know what's the deal with it of course I was looking at it then too and so you can see here that's how you eject and so let's clip it back on Sorry guys, I'm so all over the place. But again, you would just basically eject it. Which is really cool because it's a little mechanism in there. Once you do that, and you slide it, boom, yeah, it pops it right open. Okay, and that's how you're able to adjust that up into the tree. So again, there's many ways to do it guys, I mean, that's a sweet little tool and I actually like the webbing um of course you know I'm pretty sure they'll probably make this more robust in the future but you don't really need much with webbing um webbing is amazingly strong um <coughs> it's so strong um I've used different types of webbing um to give you an idea I'm gonna walk you over here Now, this is my little, I actually found this on the side of the street. So you can see what this is. Look at that, 2400, 1900, that's a WLL 
and then 48 in the basket. And this is just a polyester, three foot, and I'll show you that. This is nothing, guys. I mean, it's a little old thing, so so you don't have to worry about feeling unsafe when you're using the web. And I'll go in the shade so you can see it all. And I use this. I just tie it onto the tree. I use it in um, zip line and just all kind of random little stuff. But you gotta forgive me. I got stuff everywhere. Now this right here is one that I've had for years. My goodness. Okay, I'm gonna just throw all these back there. And uh, like I said, this is I've had for years. Now this one right here, it looks like a wick off of a, um, a, like an oil lamp or something like that. But I'm telling you guys, this is so strong. I've moved a building with this off with a skid steer. I kid you not, lift the building up, pulled it, and it still didn't break or anything. I was shocked. I just put like some random figure eights in. I was able to even get the knots out after we did it. But again, I'm just saying all that to say this is that uh, I say this too, and I have to put this in here for guys who used to be like me before you really understand your equipment and power of stuff and, and before you can put faith in it. Just understand that when you're working with the, um, these devices and these different things, such as the Petzl Eject and other Petzl products and those alike that have, you know, material that you're not familiar with, you know, most people are like, well, why is a rope not on this? Or why is a chain or, or, you know, cable or something like that? You have to understand that these webbing slings are just amazingly strong and you don't as long as there's no phrase you know you check it over time you know you wouldn't want to use something but again you see the stitching is just insane on there but you just have to check your um your, your quality of your product and just make sure that you know it's not no major fraying or or no chemical spills on them or anything like that or burn marks you know to where you have to discontinue or possibly just replace this because i'm sure this is just a looks like possibly just a special tool like a little allen wrench you can put in there and replace that so that stroke or strap you'll be able to just add another one or something else there to um again just replace the system and then you'll be good to go so you would have no worries and it looks like it just easily slides into this with no issues um this looks actually adjustable um which it actually is you can see it right there um it's pretty adjustable so you shouldn't have no issues putting um, another one in if you have to replace one. But I say that I have to put that disclaimer there because again, this is going to be the part that's holding you up in that tree and it's going to be your life. It's going to be on the line with this bad boy. So this is what you really want to focus on and make sure that, hey, this bad boy, you want to have that confidence that, hey, this is going to be a good tool and I can put my life on, um, you know, put my mind at ease because I know it'll protect me and I won't have to worry about thinking I'm gonna fall out of the tree or die, you have to be more focused on your anchor point at that point, which is what part of the tree did you tie this to? And make sure that that's actually safe, as opposed to worrying about this breaking or popping or anything. And so far from what I'm seeing, how they install in the tree and how you can install in the tree, you can use um, or, or uninstall it rather, when you go to take it out. Um, they actually use like a throw line but I noticed some people don't use the throw line. They just pop it right out the tree. But that's my only drawback, which I'm trying to think is how is it going to hold up to carelessness or when you maybe not in a position to add an extra line to possibly lower it. Um, I don't know how that's going to work with guys. Um, or you could still, you still could, um, whenever you um, pull your rope through, just tie your... Um, your um throw line to it and that way you can control the fall so it won't just fall into the ground or, or and now if you're working in soft dirt i don't see it being an issue but still this is a, a life-saving device or so your life's on the line with it you want to make sure you take care of it you know protect these components and so that's my concern um or one of my concerns with how is that gonna you know hold up to the longevity of the product um basically the abuse from guys like us because tree guys we know how we are um and how often would you have to check you know your screws and stuff or how does this stuff you know hold up after repetitive use so that's what we're really going to try to get into and try to give you the good bad the ugly of just what i think based on my opinion of what i've used over the years um and also why i'm choosing to implement this into my climbing system as opposed to using a natural cross like i've always done in some circumstances guys so next time you see me i'll be in a tree 
I'll be showing you from the ground, setting this up and gear and everything. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And guys, hashtag starting out now. Because like I said, I love these guys. Support Pestle. Hashtag support Pestle. Whether you rock climb, you got business or industrial type uses for carabiners, rope, or you need adjustable um, friction saver devices or whatever kind of device you might need for lowering or repelling or any kind of aerial um, rescue or even if it's nautical. I don't know if they into the sailboats just like with you know New England and Tuffelberg and all them. But at any rate, guys, support Pencil. They for the people. Yo, what's up, guys? You on me, Tree Boy for life. I just wanted to say what's up. Um, thanks for watching the video. The Petzl eject. And also, I'm going to show you my gear, what I've been using over the years, and my thought process of why I choose gear and why I would want um, certain gear. So, um, to give you an idea, guys, I got old lava rope. Now, this used to be my whew, man, I still love it. It's just hard to spice. The tachyon is a beast to spice. Um, not if you go according to instructions, but I like kind of using the, the basic double rope technique to it. But that extra cord just kind of throws it off. But you can still do it, but it's just not as I guess it's like using double rope instead of having an extra little layer in there. But again, great rope. Still, I mean, this rope probably is from one of my first climbing lines when I first start climbing. So you're talking about almost practically uh, 2008. Oh my goodness, this is almost 15 years probably worth of rope right there. Um, that's been sitting around used for this random stuff. Keep, I'm a bucket guy, guys. That's why I like the fact that they gave me the duffel. The duffel is amazing. I used to use like gear bags for my tools. I used a bucket to do that stuff. And I use other duffel bags and other type of bags for my gear. Um, so you have a notch in here. But nothing beats the bucket for me. It's just really simple, really easy. It's real durable. Um, easy to store I could put I can actually put my whole world climbing system in here um, and my lanyards and my chainsaw lanyard in one bucket and just be ready to pull it to the tree have everything right there and boom 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 but everybody's different that's just how it works for me that's how it's been working for me but guys I want to show you um this is my climbing line like I said I used to disc store diesel um, on a spliced eye on a, um, a poison ivy um, rope from um, Yale Cordage, which I absolutely love. You can see I actually use it. Most guys got this really new rope. <laughs> I got this rope, it's really used. Okay guys, I use my ropes. Um, I showed y'all those in the other videos of some of the webbing situations that you can use. Um, old Buckingham spikes, old pads, um, just stuff. This is actually new guys. Um, this is the just a floating D, it's a notch. <laughs> They had this thing on sale for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks or something like that. I just bought this mug just to have something extra just for the sake of it. Because like some guys want to get in the tree with me or I'll get in the tree with them and get them trained up. Another thing here, guys, going back to again, this Petzl Brilliant. I love this thing. This is my second lanyard that I use. On my first lanyard, I use the Rock Exotica. You see that one? Rope Adjust. I use a Petzl MD. And I also use another Petzl MD twist lock and or screw lock or twist lock, and then I use the button twist lock, all double or triple locking um, type situations. I don't know what this is. It's just a random carabiner, um, but that's just what I use with aluminum. Um, on this, look at that Petzl MD Grillion. Let's that say, guys, Petzl few. Are chosen although many are called going to my rope pulling kit guys just some basic GM pulleys I got I think ordered them from China a basic pulley here I mean a um, little kit here I mean a little um carabiner here what's that that's just an Omega there um but look at this look at that carabiner right there I love to use the William in this system because it is so wide and so it gets the pet so brilliant out some but that's the whole kit right there, guys. I, you, you've probably seen me. You go to the video. I'll show you where I use it. That's the strap and everything, the ropes. Um, here's my little gear bag, what I'm going to use for the um, Petzl um, eject. Um, 
I got a little bag that's just a little caribou. I mean, uh, a throw rope bag. So I'll put that in there so I won't lose that because that thing, you could lose it real easy if you ain't careful. Here is, again, guys, where it all started, you know, for me. I mean, looking at gear and everything. I mean, you look through all this mess. Like I said, many, many different things. But why do you choose what you choose to climb with? Why do I choose what I choose to climb with? Why do I like what I like? And why do you like what you like? So, again, guys, here's the pet suite jet that you'll see me use later. Here's a basic carabiner, uh, I mean, basic um, um, uh, cambium saver, um, which is basically what this is friction saver, whatever you want to call it, ring to ring, you know, with the little ring and the big ring. Okay. Um, here's just a little extra free rope. Um, just a little, I guess, like a little um, am steel, blue am steel, kind of like that, but Yale Cordage makes, I forget what it's called. Um, it might even be the am steel. I can't remember what it is. But it's basically just supposed to be like, literally like, they it's like the cable, like the fibers that make it so good. It's almost like having a cable, like an actual metal cable. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty tough. I've used it for a lot of applications. Also, um, I got just a made a uh, just a guys after so long, I done been through so many chainsaw lanyards, lanyards, this, that, and the fourth. You just get kind of just whatever. Here's this old weaver saddle. My goodness, I love these. It's just got so much stuff on here. Plus, it's padded. I mean, over the years, I just I'm just so used to climbing with it. Now I got a uh, fusion repel ring with the webbing bridge. I mean, you could actually go in if you want to and do something different here. Um, they got different rings that you could actually just. I could actually just if I wanted to cut this thing off or just take it all off and put a different ring on there and put a different system. You can do so much with it, but I just prefer the little webbing bridge. It's just, again, the webbing is such a, a good tool to use and it's very safe. Um, as long as you watch it, you know, you gotta watch your stitching, you know. Again, this one's not, it, it's older than it looks, but I've just replaced it not too long ago and I replace them pretty often. Um, again, just to be safe, because this is actually my main lifeline. This right here pops, guys. Most time I'm tied in twice, but if that pops, I'm done. Um, my carabiner I used to clip into my um, ring with um, is a Petzl. Um, so again, another Petzl device, a Petzl that I use, and I actually clip that. Um, or not really, not right there. I'm sorry. I would use that and clip that in right here to the top of my hitch climber pulley. You know, in that system like that. You know, I'm looking through the phone as I'm talking, guys. So I apologize. That's why the camera's all over the place. But I use that in my climbing system. So again. And guys, I don't do a lot of, over the years, another reason why I like this knot, I don't do a lot of knot tying anymore, guys, why so I learned how to splice. Uh, I'm not even as efficient as I used to be. I mean, I used to be a beast on knots, especially the ones that I liked. I mean, but again, I tell y'all that all the time, but you, it's best to learn, though. Start off learning. That's why I always get the Jep Jepson book, um, Tree Climber, and all that stuff. I always recommend that because, guys, I'm telling you, I, I pretty much start from the bottom. I mean, using um just d rings like this old style um when you had the two that would connect i would use the rope to tie into itself and use the blake's hitch i mean I, i'm that guy who, who basically started from the back and came all the way to the front but at the same time i'm still kind of stuck in the middle because i realized like i said many are called if you're chosen you got to figure out what you like and what you use and why you like what you use and why you can help somebody else appreciate why you use what you use and why you climb the way you climb vice versa you know or however you want to put it and guys like i said you go through all types of um you go from using situations like this right here to hook up a, um a, um a block this is a basic cmi block pulley i mean for rigging i mean this is some more um Yale cordage, but it's like a um, 10x type um, material, um, and, and you can just see it. I mean, I've made loopy slings. Most guys make them. They're real simple to make, and this hollow braid is so easy to splice. You know, you just tuck that splice back into itself right there. For guys who know what I mean, with your your tools and everything, it's easy to whip up to. It ain't like it ain't like whipping up this thing. And this whipping is coming off. But again, guys, you just got to go through there and look what's on that. This is um, a Petzl MD twist lock, um, twist screw. And then you push back, twist it like that right there. So you got stuff like that, and that's that dubs as a second secondary line or or a rigging line, light light rigging. Um, and again, you just go through, you know, good buddy of mine off um, YouTube, Ralph B, made this for me, um, and I still use it. It's an old carabiner right here. I call this a spearmint line, but um, 
just pop the carabiners in and it works great got the sheath on it i still got old lanyards that i keep just in case if i need hence the reason why i still have this um and even guys like like again and i know mostly what i'm talking about in this video is i'm just showing you what i'm using guys um because again it just you know over the years you have so much stuff and you learn to climb a certain way but even here guys i got another pencil um another md but let me show you something i actually this used to be my spider leg device and i still use this as a spider leg this is a re this is one of the best rigging rigs. i think i think it's like rated twenty thousand pounds um it's one of the biggest that they make you can see my hand is like literally on i'm sorry about that sun um right here reflecting but i actually have used this guys and begun to use this in the tree either as a redirect for my secondary climbing line or i use it as a redirect for a rigging situation and i've also used it as a, a cambian saver you know so I, I i'm just saying there's so many reasons and so many ways to use equipment you know once you learn how to splice and once you learn functions and and you get your groove on or get in the groove of what you like to do but i really like this you know again i just use the basic corona blade i got a silky too um but nothing special guys i mean i'm, I'm after a while guys and that's that's the point i'm trying to make they're making new gear and we love this new gear it's really nice but what would convince a person like me who is basically a bootleg guy so to speak unorthodox or why would I be, or why would I need to have something like this when I've already got this, when I've already got stuff like this, you know, um, and I'm, I'm, and I'm natural crotch rigging most of the time, which is why my rope looks like crap. Um, but it, it's my rope and it does good. Or why, why would a person use, you know, this, even though this is technically not meant to be used this way, but why would he use it in that situation? I could definitely, this dubs as a secondary climb, which is perfect. And, you know, I, that's still great. I mean, it's being used with this big rope. And this would normally be, you would need a little or smaller rope. But I just love the amount of friction that it gives when you're doing. And that's why I like it in my climb, my um, pull system right there. It just gives so much friction and it holds. I mean, even though I should have used a, a dynamic or um, rope, I mean, more of a static rope as opposed to a dynamic on that pull kit. But actually, I noticed that that, that um, dynamic has just really been it's been really smooth but long story short why do you choose or why do you choose in the end what you're going to use you know you got all this mess you know over the years or over the time why do you want to use this stuff guys um and it's simple it's really simple because you like it <laughs> there's no other way to put it guys because you end up liking it and I really like Petzl. Um, I'm a big fan of their products. Like I said, one of my first purchases was two carabiners. It's all I could afford. I had some hand-me-down stuff I got, but that's all I could afford for my first stuff was a Petzl MD and a Petzl William. And I'm not even sure if either one of these or any of these, because I kept all that stuff. I don't know if I gave it away. I can't remember which is new or old. So I could possibly still have one of the original carabiners I bought almost 20 years ago in my system and one of these which is still insane to think that even that would have lasted this long and still been able to be used um, the way I'm using it which again is just amazing because I don't I don't throw old carabiners away I usually just add them to the rigging kit um, and that's how I use them but over the years I got start helping guys out giving stuff away and I end up dipping back into those to use for myself because again i know what i've used them for and i know and I, again i use them i mean they look all scarred up and everything but i don't abuse my equipment even though it looks rough i just use it i don't abuse it if that makes any sense although tree guys are very abusive to chainsaws and other stuff over time and they're just through use so that's really what i say when i say abuse basically a lot of use um and again you know the guys again this is weaver cougar saddle if i didn't say that but um you just like this stuff over time and you really are grateful that okay man i got something new to play with and i got something new in the tree to try something different and that's what's going to make this device new for me and better for me because of what i what i do and how i like to climb 
and why we use something like this as opposed to using my ring to ring which this still has an application in some applications or why I would use it in this tree or that tree or vice versa why would I use um, this secondary um, climbing line and the secondary um, lanyard in a certain way which is why I use my regular lanyard and, my, and that's always my main because I that just fly slide so smooth with the rock exotic why would I use it or why would I use these petal um, carabiners you know why do I you know so again I'm gonna show you in my climbing system guys how I implemented this in and here again I'm, I'm just talking now I just want to show you because again guys there's so many videos on the pets reject you'll see over time it's been out like I said six seven months um, so many reviews but I just want to show you why I'm gonna use it how I'm gonna use it and that way it just give you an idea and if you want a really in-depth you know view I mean a video I mean I, I'm not my camera is just a basic iPhone and other stuff but other guys got really good reviews you got digital you got all kinds of other reviews that you can see this used in but I'm going to show you how I use it and how I'm going to implement this in my system and how this can help a climber like me for what I like to do and why I would use this in certain situations versus why I would use this or versus why I would use this or this that's just all this is so that's why I said many are called and few are chosen so thanks pencil again for giving me this um and let me not only demo it but just let me add this to my collection um and i'm gonna make it worth your while because i want to show these guys again if they buy this why this would be important to them um and it's not that expensive i mean it's only about 250 i think um usd which is not too crazy i mean i've seen some Man, some of these, like the the, the the art was costing like five and six, seven hundred dollars, seemed like at one time. That system, but now it's lower now. But it just seemed like that some, at some time when that stuff first comes out. You know, it's really expensive. The ART, there's other um, type pulleys and things like that. But again, why would I need something like this? Peace out. Y'all, me, Tree Boy for Life. Thanks for watching.